in our running total for the quad product cell, we need to add 348, 556, 456, and subtract it from 8,500 to get our running total. But later, when we add a new transaction for quad, we need our formula to recognize the new 100 and subtract it to get the new running total. <laughs> Now there's lots of different types of running total formulas. But if we have a set amount and we need to subtract all of the units associated for that product, this method will work. Now the first problem we have to solve in our formula is how does the formula recognize when we add new records? The way we do that in Excel is we convert our proper data set into an Excel table. With a single cell selected, we go up to Insert and click on the Table button. Or we can use the keyboard, Control-T. My table definitely has headers. We click OK. Up in Table Design, Properties, we give the table a good name. Something like Units Table and Enter. Now that our data is in an Excel table, whenever we add new records, anything pointing to this table object will automatically update. Now the second problem we need to solve is for this row right here, we need to get all of the quad units in Adam. But when we come down to the next row, we need the units for Carlota. The perfect function for that, the sum ifs function. The sum range, because this is an Excel table, I hover over the top of the units field. And when I see that black downward pointing arrow, I click. That puts in the syntax for a column, table name, and in square brackets, the field name. Now I look at my screen tip. I type a comma. I see the new bolded argument is criteria range. We select the product column. Those are all the products, but we need to indicate, please only get the quads. So I type a comma and criteria 1. I select the cell with the condition for adding. With that formula, I close parentheses. Now we're not done yet, but let's enter it. Control Enter. That puts the formula in the cell and keeps the cell selected. Then I take my selection cursor and move it towards the fill handle. When I see my crosshair, I double click and send it down. It knows to stop because there's nothing after this row. I also go to the last cell and I hit the F2 key because I want to verify that the cell reference and column references are pointing in the correct location. And they are. Now that's just the amount I need to subtract from my 8,500. So I come to the top cell. F2 puts it in edit mode. After the equal sign, I click on Start Units for Quad, then type minus. And that's my formula. As I copy down, this sum ifs will dynamically add and subtract each one of the product unit totals. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Now we'll test. We'll add a new product. I'm going to type quad. And watch what happens to that little marker right there when I hit tab. A new record is added. The spot price tab. And as soon as I type 100, now if I hit tab, it'll add a new record. But this time, I'll enter it by using the Enter key. And watch what happens up here. Enter. Now we have a dynamic running total formula. The beautiful thing about this formula is you can take this table and cut and paste it on another sheet, and the formula still works. All right, if you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to learn more about running totals, check out this video. And if you want to learn more about the amazing table feature, check out this video.